Hi guys, today I'm going to show you another machine that could make your life a lot easier. So I built up this flying machine that removes the water which is encased uh, with the leaf blocks here layer by layer. So basically we have a two-way flying machine that's getting moved down every time it docks at the station here. It's uh, quite easy to turn on, you just need to open the strapter once, then everything is moved down by one and the bi-directional flying machine is launched. And it will take out every single block in this layer, so no yeah, water block is left afterwards and also yeah because we sealed it off no new water so, uh, blocks could flow in and form new water sources um yeah we get a few ghost blocks that's getting worse every minecraft version so at the end this piston here tells the flying machine to return and it's also getting moved down by one you see it moves down and then the next time the flying machine comes around it's also yeah doing the same again and on the other end basically the same happens so this piston here that punches, it's just a ghost block again, would activate this observer right here and this tells the whole station to move down and it would also launch the flying machine again. As you can see it, this piston would activate the observer, then everything moves down the one and the machine is launched again. So it would work all its way down and then it would stop at the lowest layer because the slime blocks would try to pick up the stone blocks and then it would get stuck. So let's try to make a time lapse so everything renders correctly and we don't get too many of those annoying ghost blocks. The lowest layer of water isn't cleared, so you need to remove that manually or build another flying machine. Um, but yeah, rebuilding this machine so it would take care of the lowest layer isn't that simple. Um, we are already at the push limit pretty much every piston, um, so it's not worth it in my opinion to try to you know, come up with a solution for that. Um, yeah, removing one layer of water also is no problem, just put in some sand blocks, some sponges. You could also stop the machine simply by removing this block right here. And then once the flying machine comes in and docks, it wouldn't move down, it would just stay there. So it's doing nothing, then you can put the block back and then you can start the machine again by opening the trapdoor. Then of course the machine is expandable, so this is a 60 by 60 area which is about 30 blocks deep, it would take 25 minutes to clear that, um, but it could also yeah, move this side out uh, so that it would travel longer, but it could also hook up more flying machines on the side here, make it wider, so it's really up to you how large of an area you want to clear. Alright, so let's start with the tutorial. So the first thing you gotta do is to build walls around the area you want to drain. So I used leaves here because yeah, they are perfect, slime blocks don't stick to them, so you can move those slime blocks next to the leaves, um, but you don't need them in every location, um, you only need them where there are yeah, slime blocks next to it. So for example here we have this uh, tower at the top, so definitely need some leaves here, you could also use obsidian instead, so uh, it's not necessary to use leaves, but I think they're easy to gather and also easy to remove afterwards if you want to. But for example here you could also use other blocks instead, no slime block would ever touch that. Um, so yeah, I would recommend leaves, easy to get, easy to remove. So in the tutorial I want to build up a 19 wide machine. Um, so the first segment is 7 wide, then every next one is 6. So 7, 30, 19, you could then go to 25, to 31, but I could even adjust it and make some uh, segments shorter, but I want to keep it at the standard size here, which is some maximum size really for each unit. So here you also need some unmovable blocks, um, I think the best would be droppers or furnaces, if you can afford it, even anvils, they're easy to remove, um, but also obsidian would work. And then, um, yeah. The fourth block in the wall here needs to be a non-movable block and then every sixth block 
and uh, all the way down. Now let's start with the actual building. So place a slam block against this non moveable block here. Then you need a sticky piston right here, another sticky piston, another slam block right there, another sticky piston right here. And I would recommend to put in a break for now so the flying machine can't take off. Then add one more slam block right here. Then you need a normal piston. Then observer right here. Then need a downwards facing observer. Also here. And here an upwards facing one. Then add two more slime blocks right here. And add, yeah. I'll, I'll use uh, iron blocks, but could use the slabs in theory, so it doesn't matter really. And then we're gonna build a second flying machine. So it's gonna be right here. Then again, two slime blocks like this, two here. Then the next one right here. And like this. So this is the part uh, which is the repeatable one and here just make the extra bend so I could fill up um, the corner right here. So now also add the other pistons, uh, sticky pistons of course. And before adding the observers also use a non-moveable block so the machine doesn't take off. Put the observers in. And here we always need the upwards facing one. And now fill up the gaps of blocks. Okay. So next we're gonna build up the return stations on this side. Um, so this piston here is in direct line to at the top of the Observer here, so basically what's happening here, this observer updates the piston and this updates this uh, observer again and this causes the machine to turn around. So then on top of the piston you place an observer, another piston like this, then a sticky piston on top of that, two slime blocks, then another observer, and then a normal piston facing down and a redstone block on the side. And do this for every yeah, flying machine. I made a slight mistake there, sorry, um, but it's not hard to fix. Those actually need to be one block lower, but you don't need to rebuild anything, you just need to update those sticky pistons here with a flint and steel, and then the whole thing moves one lower. So consider it as a test. So next we're gonna add some blocks on top of those observers. So norm two normal blocks right here, here another normal block, and here we need a redstone lamp. Then here we need another slime block and a downwards facing observer. How's the redstone lamp? So basically what happens here, we're gonna push both of those uh, segments down. Then this piston would extract and then the redstone lamp is directly on top of this observer and it has a little bit of delay which causes this uh, other sticky piston to uh, grab those slime blocks again and this basically launches the machine. So then we need two normal pistons on top, connect them with this slime block right here and add an observer like this. And then also add another sticky, uh, another slime block right here and a redstone block. So I also build up the same thing on top of the other two flying machines and now we're gonna go to this corner right here and we're gonna put an upwards facing observer top of the corner block. Then add a normal block, then this is the trapdoor that would launch the machine. Then another observer on top. Then this is the block you could remove to stop the machine. Then a redstone lamp on top, and another observer, and a sticky piston with a block. So now we need a normal piston again. This faces down like this, then a slime block on the side sticky piston again and two slime blocks like this and another normal piston facing downwards and then we need a redstone block right here and this is something I always do because we have a butted piston here put a non-moveable block on top so it couldn't accidentally launch the machine 
So I also copied this on top of the other two flying machines and now we need to connect those battle pistons, so just some slime blocks and then normal block right here. So basically all of those would activate at the same time now. Alright, we're already done with the repeatable pattern, we just need to add some blocks to push down that part right here. So we're gonna extend from the first flying machine to the side here and here we need a sticky piston and server right here. Then we need some slime blocks Oops. and some normal blocks right here and connect it like this. And we yeah, need an observer faces upwards like this and then a sticky piston right here. Now I add three more slime blocks on top of the sticky piston like this. Here we need another sticky piston and server on the side. Then two more slime blocks like this and here a normal piston, server on top like this, another slime block and another observer. And then we could remove all of those yeah, non-removable blocks, also the ones at the bottom, and the machine is ready to launch. I just checked for errors myself, but I didn't find anything, so I guess we can try to launch it now. And it looks great so far. Yep, those moved on. And now moment of truth, will it move? Alright, yeah, seems to work fine. Then one last note, if you build this in a different direction than I did, this normal piston here sometimes would uh, remain behind here, but it's not an issue at all, the machine would still work the same, basically. Okay, thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.